This is a video to help you get started on why don't oysters share their pearls. So I won't do every problem on this sheet, but I will get you started with this section and also with the bottom section, which is a little different than the top. Okay, so here on the top, um, this, first of all, I should say this whole sheet is about reflection. So that's what you're going to be doing on this one. You're going to be reflecting shapes. So first of all, in part A, which is this whole top part, it says match each graph. So here's a graph to the correct reflection. Okay, so that means match each graph, and we've got an A, with the correct reflection, which is A prime. So if we look here, we can see there are two shapes, A and A prime. And so this was the original shape, the A, and this is the reflection, the A prime. And then, so we have one, two, three, four, five graphs here, and then right here we have six possible answers. So if we look at the answers, it says something like reflect across y equals one. So that's a line, y equals one. And actually, this is what that line looks like. So if it were on a set of coordinates, x and y coordinates, y equals one would be the line would be right here. So that's one possibility that something has been reflected across this line. And then some of the other um, things or possibilities are reflect across the y-axis. And of course, we know where that is. That's right here. That's the y-axis. And reflect across x equals negative one. So I've drawn that one also. Reflect across the x-axis, we know where that is. Reflect across x equals 1, that's the blue line. And reflect across y equals x. So y equals x is this red line. So everywhere on this red line, if we look at what the x-coordinate is, which is 1 here, that is equal to the y-coordinate. So that's why it's running diagonally. Okay. So those are the possibilities, and we have to see which one of these possibilities was the reflection or the line of reflection for this graph. All right, so let's look at the first one. So with this one, we can pretty much see that they're on the same line horizontally, and it looks like they're one square away from the y-axis. So to me, it really looks like it was reflected over the y-axis. And we can check that because we can use some patty paper and draw the original shape. And then we can draw the line of reflection. And I like to do that with a dotted line. Okay. And then I can see, okay, if I reflect this or flip it, over the y-axis, and I'm matching it back up, does it land on top of a prime? And it looks like it does. So in this case, it looks like we reflected over the y-axis. And so I'm going to put that. So um, reflect on the y axis. Okay, and so that's for one, and here's one down below, and let me see, oh, here it says reflect across the y-axis, and that's an H. So I put the H underneath the one, okay? So for graph one, we reflect it across the y-axis, and so that means one is H, and so I'm just going to put H right here. Okay, uh, let's look, let's, I'm gonna do one other one. So let's look at one that's a little trickier. Okay, so I think some of these other ones, like 
this one, this one looks like it, it doesn't look like it's reflecting over one of the axes. So it looks like it might be reflecting over this line, which is right between these two. And this line is negative one, or x is negative one. And so it looks like it's flipping over this line right here. Okay, or I can, I can actually draw it, like color it in a little so you could see. Yeah, it pretty much looks like those are reflecting over that. And again, I can check that using some patty paper. So I can draw the original. Oh, that's not the original, that's A prime. See, that's why I color coded them because it's easy to get them mixed up. Okay, so here is my original and I'm drawing the figure and then I'm going to put a dotted line right where that um, line of reflection is. And now I'm going to flip it over and see if I can match up the line of reflection. And yes, it looks like my um, rectangle goes right over the top. And so in this case, it looks like the line of reflection, and I, I'm gonna write it below this time, is um, we've reflected across x is equal to negative one. x is equal to negative one. Okay, so for number three, it's x is equal to negative one, which is right here, so that's L. So I can go and find three, and I'll put L there. Okay, so for the rest of these, you need to um, figure out what each one of them has been reflected across. All right, and these are kind of the possibilities and they've been drawn for you.